Hey, what's going on, people? I'm living differently here. Today, I'm going to go ahead and be picking up a new rental. This is the reason why I want the RGK Octane. When it comes to picking up a rental, the reason why I'm picking up the rental is because on these vehicles, was it Uber? Is that the uh, rental has to be legal and this vehicle's registration had expired. And yesterday, it gave me a red flag notice that I can't go online and start Ubering until I resolve the issue with the car and the rental company and the registration has expired. So because it has expired, I have to go into turn it in and get another vehicle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, this Corolla 2021 suited me damn just fine. I love Toyotas. I love Hondas. I love Kia, Hyundai, or Hyundai domestic vehicles. That's another topic of discussion at a later video. This thing is a gas zipper, 33 MPG on the uh, city and a lot higher on the highway. Yeah, good vehicle. But uh, hey, you know, I'm, respons I'm not responsible for the maintenance, the insurance, or the, the whole entire vehicle for that matter. I just gotta go ahead and pay a, you know, a fee for my earnings every week. It's pretty steep, but you know what? It's well worth it. Roadside assistance, pretty good. $800 a month, $200 a week. But I can make that up in a day and a half. So I work seven days a week. It's all good. We're here we'll see what they got in store for me hopefully they got a uh, Corolla I see one over there I definitely don't want to do no Nissan Rogue but you know you don't really know what's gonna get uh, let's see they have a chargers <clears throat> I have the Corolla, the same one, and I don't have to go ahead and swap it, which is totally fine because, well, when it comes down to this whole entire, you know, vehicle stuff like that, Toyota Corolla all the way. Gas, zipper, good vehicle, good handling, the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put on hand controls and what to do, all right? So, we're down here, we have our hand controls, 
knob for gas, handle for brake. Some people, when you're in need, you get this, you know, baseball bat, as a person has told me. I've used the cane. Uh, I've heard a lot of people use, um, you know, golf clubs or whatever to get the job done, usually. But, you know, everything makes it work if you're in a crippled and you don't have hand controls. It's just the way things go. So, anyway, this one right here, you can get them online for like $120. I don't know, from Amazon. But I'm not going to go ahead and uh, give a link to the uh, description down below, the comment section. But you kind of get the point if you're, uh, you know, newly injured or whatever. Uh, this is pretty much it. And then, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this is it, right? Get on down here. These uh, studs, these um, these bolts, you can get them at the hardware store. I got them at Home Depot. Easy to do. You definitely want those wing nuts because these wing nuts, they're easy to put on. You don't need a tool. You just use your hands and that's the tool. Good to go. You fit it on here. If you go ahead and get it up into the bracket or the lever, um, it's gonna interfere with the, you know, the, whole, the firewall and the accelerator pedal they don't call it gas pedal anymore but that's just common tongue and then you're gonna find your place you see that the more i clamp the more i go down so you're kind of like want to get a sweet spot in the whole entire thing you just you know hold it down tight and you uh sit down your wing nuts like so really not that difficult it's just difficult if you've got a spinal injury or what have you. I got peripheral nerve damage, so I still gotta watch out for my uh, my limbs. And you gotta find your spot. Every, every vehicle is gonna have a different spot, so you gotta make sure you kinda figure it out. That one's tight. That one's tight, not strip. Ah! Ah! Yep, that's good. Doesn't kinda slips, but not really just loosen up redundancy safety this is the only way i can drive i can't use my legs so this is a safety item gotta keep that in mind if you're crippled and you're watching this channel all right all right we are good to go my friends yeah this is okay Yep, good to go. Second one right here. Same thing, kind of find your spot, your head, uh, your feel. This is definitely not going to work. Contoured bends. This is just little your little boot. That kind of works. You got to fit that over there. All right, come on. I don't want to be down here in so long. And yes, it is a little tiring to be down here on the floor, on the ground. Good to go. All right. Now this is actually what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be mentioning about my uh, on profit. I've mentioned that before, but I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you the new people that are new to my channel that I'm going to start a nonprofit for people in the automotive trade and whoever are, you know, injured. Physical disabilities, because I can't have mental disabilities and working on machinery. That's just not smart and not safe. So, this is good. Yep. 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 Good to go, my friends. You always want to road test in a parking lot or anything else before you commit to a really long drive and really think that you're gonna drive for a long, you know, more than a day or two hours.
way better than putting it in the water. Oh yeah. Feels good. Brakes fine. See the gas. Brakes good. Yeah. Wrenching for change is gonna be some badass dope stuff for the handicap. Oh yeah. I gotta tell you, it's not easy having a physical difference. It's not easy being in a wheelchair and it sure as heck, I know what it's like to have a traumatic experience happen to you. And when you wake up and you see yourself the way you are every single mother effing day until you die, it really is a mind screw. And that's the reason why accepting and moving on and embracing the future for whatever happens to you is essential and very important. If you don't get it down, you're gonna fail, you're gonna look at your past, you're gonna look at what you don't have, and you're not going to be happy. I have a smile on my face, and that's something that is achievable, but you have to work for it. Anyway, guys, um, pleasure, and I'll see you next time. Everything counts and everyone matters. Remember that, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. Everything matters, okay? And remember, <laughs> peace!